joined uh, the National Guard when I was 17 back in 1999, and I did my final deployment in 2008 in Afghanistan doing uh, providential reconstruction teams with the Navy. On the day that I got injured, uh, some rockets came in, one landed on the windowsill. There was about 15 of us in the room, and three of us were critically injured. Um, my platoon sergeant, myself, and a civilian contractor, and uh, we lost my medic and mechanic. From my ear to my cheek was severed. Um, my jaw was broken three. Um, I had several broke ribs, two collapsed lungs. Um, when I went to go sit down in the chair, that's when I realized my wrist was mangled. Uh, when I got injured, I came to terms with not surviving and I was content with not waking up and as far as I was concerned I wasn't going to wake up and when I woke up and realized I had another day it was quite an invigorating and reopening of life. the triceps slow it'll open the hand when I flex the triceps slow it'll close the hand and then when I flex it fast it'll actually rotate the wrist um, to the left and right me I'm a diehard Steelers fan I've been that way since forever and so I run with the black and yellow carbon fiber with the decal right in the middle of my socket and how you go ahead and contract the triceps again, please. Whenever I feel like there is a limit, limited in something that I can do, whether it be sports specific or in life, I pretty much just get with a prosthetist and we sit down and explain, hey, I can't do this, how can I do it? And that's where they just basically, between me and the prosthetist, brainstorm and the magic begins. So it basically absorbs the blow from the bike to the shock rather than the bike straight up to the residual Correct. rim. Yes. And the end here will lock into the, the unit on the bicycle that we already have attached to the bicycle for you. Me and Jess have uh, been dating for about eight months now. We met through a mutual friend about two and a half years ago and just kind of fell into a relationship, I guess you could say. Um, she accompanies me on what trip she can and what work allows. Was the fountain coming over? No, the fountain, the fountain goes in the bottom. I'd have to describe him as very energetic, very rambunctious, very caring, loving, um, very outgoing, very influential, always wanting to live life to the fullest, never giving up, and family-oriented. I tell everybody, and it's an absolute fact, me losing my arm was one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life. It just seemed like between my eyes opening up on how to enjoy life rather than take advantage of it, and just some of the other opportunities that come from being an amputee, the competition of, of sport me realizing what's important in life, it just kind of rerouted me a different way. Enjoying my family, my nephew, my niece, um, taking advantage of the actual moments that are created with family rather than, and enjoying them rather than just saying, oh, well, it'll be there next time. Currently right now what I'm doing in life is I'm a para-athlete aspiring to get into the Paralympics. Uh, hopefully end result being Rio 2016. What I'm competing in right now are the 100 and 200 meter dashes and swim in the 50 meter backstroke and the 50 meter freestyle. Limitations are more of a mindset than it is a physical ability. And once you find your new normal, you and you fully understand that anything is possible, everything becomes possible.